going to show you how to make a five gallon batch of wine. And this recipe, you all, is good for any kind of, uh, any kind of fruit, any kind of wine you want to make. It's all just about the same. Uh, we're going to make this simple. We're not going to talk in big terms like they do on the internet and all that so none of us can understand it. Uh, we're going to show you how to make some good backyard, what I call backyard wine. Uh, if you'll follow this recipe, and you'll follow these simple procedures, I promise you, you'll have you some good wine that you can show off to your friends, uh, as good as any wine that you can buy in the store. I put my muscadine wine up against anybody's wine, anywhere, um, better than anything you can buy in the store. I, I, I drank some muscadine wine uh, a few months back from a winery in South Alabama, and my wine was better than theirs. Uh, the reason I don't enter any kind of competitions or anything Hey, this is Alabama. You got to go four or five hundred miles to enter into a competition. I just don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of time. Uh, but we're here today, we're going to take this one step at a time. And as we said, once you bought your fruit, or you picked your fruit in this case, uh, you can begin to start. You need to find a way to crush it up. Now these are Alabama muscadines right here. That's what they look like. It's a white wine. We're going to make it. It's a bronze muscadine here uh, of the Carlos variety. And uh, we're going to, it's a five, we've got five gallons of muscadines and we're going to uh, crush up five gallons of muscadine. So you've got to, to get order for this to work, you've got to crush these holes like that. You've got to crush that open so the um, yeast can get in there once and go against the sugars that you, uh, the fruit and uh, the sugar that you're going to put in there and uh, so it can turn into alcohol so it can make wine <clears throat> very very good so we're going to put our muscadines in a crusher and we'll begin crushing just twist the handle Muscadines fall down through the crusher into this plastic tub. And this is what your crusher looks like. It's got them two paddles. It goes inside that little wheel there and crushes the muscadines. This is the easiest way. This is easier than the old-fashioned way. Believe me. As you can see, I've tried both. And they just go in there. And you crush the little boogers up. It's a lot easier. And here we have your crushed fruit. And then now you're now ready to put it in your bucket. You can get this no rent sanitation cleanser off the internet, cheap, or at your local homebrew store or whatever. Pretty cheap. You know, water doesn't have to be hot. I usually keep a tub of it laying around uh, during this first process while I'm making my wine. And so, because you can use it many, nearly as many times as you need to, and it'll still work. And uh, so, I usually keep a tub up laying around and use it several times before uh, uh, I have to use any sterilize, sanitize any kind of equipment again. Um, so, I've sanitized my bucket. My bucket's been sitting in there while I've crushed up my grapes. And, uh, I'm going to take my bucket out of the water and we're going to put the grapes in. This is what, this is what your grapes look like in a bucket. Now, one of the tools that you need to make wine or beer is a bucket similar to this. This is called a fermentation bucket or bucket with a spigot. See the spigot on it. These are food grade buckets. Very important in winemaking that you use food grade utensils when you're fermenting this stuff so you don't contract any kind of bitter taste, poisonings, or anything like that. Uh, these buckets are, you see the five gallon mark there, but they're actually a six gallon bucket for making five gallon batches. There's a reason for that that I'll explain. I'll show you just a little later. Now we're going to explain the initial ingredients that goes in five gallon buckets of uh, wine. 
Five gallons, two pounds of sugar per gallon. Ten pounds of sugar, right there. Pretty cheap, about four dollars at the store. Uh, these are called Camden tablets. C A M P D E N, Camden tablets. And what they do, what they their use is, is they act as a sterilizer. And you're going to crush a few of them up. It'll tell you exactly how many right on the bottle. Directions are at the bottle. You can get all this stuff uh, at the local uh, brew store or off the internet. Just type in brewing beer, brewing wine, whatever, homemade wine. And you will come to a website and order stuff off the internet if you so choose to do. Now, and you'll put about three of these in per five gallons. And that sterilizes the wild yeast. It cleanses, sanitizes the wild yeast off your fruit wild yeast. All fruit produces a wild yeast. They get rid of that wild taste. This is called pectic enzyme. And what this does, this is a clarity. also tells you exactly how much to put for, per five gallons. Uh, in the back, it tells you right on the bottle. And this is for clarity, for when your wine starts clearing. And this is yeast nutrient. Uh, it just gives your yeast a little a little kick enables your yeast that you're going to put in here uh, and give it a little kick is what this yeast nutrient does. And also, got to add water, okay? Got into a conversation with a friend of mine at work. Said he's going to make a batch of muscadine wines without adding water. I've already did that. Not going to listen to me, it looks like this year. But he'll find out. Add water, okay? He's got too much acid in these muscadines. For you to just drink it plain. You won't like it. You'll still get the kick. And you'll like the first few drinks, but then after that, you'll, you'll get tired of it real quick. I still have a few bottles of that laying around hoping it'll turn better. And so, for a five gallon batch, it looks about, it's up to about the three gallon level. And I always raise it up, old for, to start with, to about four and a half gallons. So this is a gallon of water. And I'm not going to add all of it right now, but I'm just going to add some of it. Okay. Gonna add the yeast nutrient, five gallons, one teaspoon per gallon. Three, four, five. Gonna add the pectic enzyme. Half a teaspoon per gallon. We're going to put about two and a half teaspoons in here. And I'll crush the camel tablets up and put it in there too.